So, Duncan, could you tell me what a phablet is? Well, first of all, it's the ugliest word to come out of technology in quite some time. It's half phone, half tablet, and it refers to any smartphone that has a screen bigger than 5.0 inches, but smaller than 6.9. So that's quite large. I mean, are people really buying almost seven inch phones? Almost the size of tablets in large numbers? Sort of yes, sort of no. Our prediction for 2014 is that 25% of all smartphones sold will be phablets. That's about 300 million units. But two thirds of those will only barely be phablets. They'll be between five and 5.1 inches. The actual number of phones sold that are over six will be less than 10%. So all the growth that we're seeing is at the lower end of the market. But what growth it is. 25% in 2014, up from 2% growth in 2012. Now, that's a fantastic growth number. So what happens in the future? Do we get to everyone having a phablet at some time? Probably not. We think that what's gone on is this tremendous inflection, but then a plateau. Yes, there are people who are willing to carry around such a large phone. Yes, they're willing to hold such a large phone up to their ear making a phone call. Yes, they're willing to carry it in a backpack instead of their jeans pocket. Yes, they're willing to always have to type on it two-handed. But that's not everybody. Our estimate is that the 75% of people who like carrying phones one-handed, who like holding it up to their head and making hours of phone calls, will continue to stay on the four to four and a half inch device. Now, when it comes to phones, I mean, there are lots of different sizes. So do you think, to some extent, people who've got a phablet will also own another device? That's becoming increasingly common. Deloitte data from the Global Mobile Consumer Survey shows that in several countries, well, in fact, in every country but one, more than half of people who owned a phablet also owned a smaller phone for portability. Uh, in fact, in three countries, it was over 70% had a second device. Now, when I think about phablets, so there are a lot of them out there. There will be even more over the course of the year. But based in London, I don't see that many of these phablets. Who owns them? It's a really geographically split market. When you look at much of Western Europe, much of North America, very few people are buying phablets, probably under 10%. In some places in Asia, there are over 40, 50 percent of sales outselling tablet computers or notebook computers. Why? Well, some of it's gaming, some of it's mass transit, but a big part of it is texting on a four-inch screen is quite easy in English or French with a traditional alphabet. Meanwhile, in some places like South Korea or in Chinese, texting on a larger screen is much, much easier than it is on a smaller screen. So we think that for language texting reasons, that will be part of the driver in those geographies. But interestingly, it's not just in China. There are many Chinese people in Canada. There are many people who speak Arabic in France. Around the world where we see these linguistic groups, we can expect phablet penetration to be higher in those places.